if we go back to frame 70 where we know that the footage cannot be actually cleaned up we just go see this red area now this red region indicates areas which haven't or can't be reconstructed and as a result it may be necessary to increase the actual frame range and include more frames before the repair can be completed so let's go have a look and increase these parameters we can find ways to actually fix this and take away the repair alpha and perform an adequate cleanup now we have frames searched now this option sets whether to search forwards backwards or in both directions to find clean parts of the image in order to complete the rig removal process now for this sequence let's make sure this is set to forwards and backwards so we have the best of both worlds we also have frame range now this is the important one this sets the number of frames for the algorithm to search for clean sections of the image as defined by the mat or any other method within the rig region we repair by now if we increase this we can see that the red repair alpha is minimized and we need to increase this until red repair alpha has gone completely not just in frame 70 but throughout the entire sequence so if we just increase this to 16 get a chance to continue we can see we actually repaired this on frame 70 and if we continue on throughout the sequence where we know that the repair does not actually clean up properly let's give it a chance to catch up we can see we have performed an adequate cleanup now another way to actually aid the cleanup is to actually change the frames used in range now at this point in time we have selected half the frames if we select all of the frames to use so in this case we're going to be using all 16 frames and the information that's contained within those 16 frames to perform an adequate cleanup so in effect if we lower this to 14 we should have an adequate cleanup let's just check this throughout the entire sequence and the all important frame 70 where we know that the repair fail marker was at full you can see it's made a cleanup now there are two ways to do this and the repair method which has the least amount of frame range is actually more preferable as increasing this too much can increase computational render times and also in some cases lead to possible perspective issues as we are searching so far ahead and so far previous to the current frame that we are taking pixels from an area where the camera was at a different angle so now we've adjusted the parameters and we have taken away the repair fail alpha so go ahead and produce a render if we play through the render now we can see that by adjusting the actual frame range and the frames used in the analysis to all frames we can see that the algorithm has performed a much better cleanup than before